Well, they say that winning when you don't play well is a sign of champions. I'm not sure that game was the sign that Manchester United are going to win anything this season. But Manchester United 1-0 winners against Aston Villa. Steven Gerrard walking away, hands in his pocket, the Stratford end. Singing plenty of lovely songs about him. It's probably the best thing I I saw tonight at that game against Manchester United. Apart from that goal, wonderful cross from Fred. A great finish from Scott McTominay. But wow. And they say football is a results-driven business. And we know it is. But it really, really is not just about the results with this Manchester United team right now. As you can see from my little caption there, lucky, lazy Manchester United. The body language stinks. We've got problems. My, 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 have we got problems. We were lucky there to come away with that 1-0 win against Aston Villa. It felt like Norwich away. A game where United may have got the three points. And tonight we did get the win and we're through to the fourth round of the FA Cup against Borough. Good. Okay. Right. Now, therein basically ends the positives, really, from that game. And I'm not trying to be a massively negative. You know me by now on United People's TV. I try and put a positive spin where I can see it. I can't really see much. If we're going to go positives here, let's go positive, let's go strong. Scott McTominay might have got the goal. I probably would have given man of the match to Rafael Varane. Really calming, really composed, really, that's the sort of Varane that we want to see. I really hope that he holds his fitness and he stays inside this team because we need him. But my, 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 I suppose Cavani, if we're looking at positives again, he sets the tone up front. But if we're speaking about tone, we're speaking about attitude, we're speaking about body language. Jesus, what did we see there today? I think Aston Villa must have had about 65% possession there. Dominated us at Old Trafford. We were fortunate, I would say. I mean, you know, Cavani did get blocked in the build-up to the goal. It, fair enough. It was kind of ruled out VAR, but we, we were fortunate that, that happened. Then they had another goal scrapped out for offside. That was offside. Fortunate. Well, not fortunate, I suppose, but it depends which way you look at it. But United were fortunate. We're lucky. Nobody can argue with the fact that we were lucky to come away with that 1-0 win tonight. What are we doing? Where are the problems? Seriously, right? Because if you're looking at that team tonight, right? No Ronaldo there. You can't blame him. No Maguire there. You can't blame him. No Pogba in the squad at all. You can't blame him. The main scapegoats for Manchester United's performances, they aren't there. They aren't there inside that team. So who do you point at? Where do you point towards? Ralph Radnick tonight, kind of surprisingly, but not too surprisingly, because he's a man who's very tactically astute. He can see what works and what doesn't work. He switched to a 4-2-3-1. He switched to it. I know it's got a 4-2-2 down there, but it was basically Fred and McTominay. He had Bruno operating as the number 10. Then he had Rashford and Greenwood on the two wings, switching. And then you had Cavani up top. And if you're looking at how Manchester United played in that first 15 minutes, yeah, that's where the positive was. Now, let's, let, I'll try not to be too overly negative here. First 15 minutes, we came out with a bit of intensity. We came out a bit sharp. I mean, look at lo and behold, you get an early goal. First 10 minutes, wonderful cross from Fred. Wasn't really aiming for McTominay. He was aiming for an area. Lovely floated cross. Great finish from McTominay, who again tonight, I think has shown he's better when he goes forward. But it wasn't the most impressive overall performance by any player in that side of that midfield. Villa had so much control of that game. You do that against uh, Villa on Saturday when they've got Coutinho in the team. I guarantee you Coutinho is going to bang one in. Outside the area, Coutinho goal. Basically put your money on it now. If United play like that again on Saturday, we are not winning the game. Simple as that. I think we were fortunate enough to come away with the win tonight. And as I said, they say it's the, sub, the hallmark of champions. To win when you don't play well. Well, good. I'm going to take that away from it. I'll take that positive away from it. But other than that, I'm seeing <clears throat> with a very strong team, I'm looking at positives here. I'm looking at Varane's performance. I'm looking at De Gea's performance. I'm looking at Matomane's goal. I'm looking at United in the first 15 minutes. I'm looking at Cavani's overall tempo and attitude. But disjointed, disconnected, not really, no balance inside that team past the first 15, 20 minutes. What is going on? Where does it change? Because as I said, the you're looking at the scapegoats. The main scapegoats, I would say, are probably Harry Maguire and Freddie McTominay, who con contributed to the goal today for the 1-0 win, and probably Ronaldo in terms of the overall balance of the team. I would say we looked a bit more like a balanced team-ish, but Bruno Fernandes was chaotic again tonight. He's a, I love the guy. He's a great player, but he's a, he's a he's chaos. He's like a bundle of chaos. He just runs everywhere. Loves to play the first-time ball when sometimes it's not the right thing to do in, so, in the same way that Mason Greenwood has his head down or maybe sometimes he should have his head up. But in terms of the second balls, man, tonight, Manchester United were, were we ever first to a second ball? 
And that's what we that's what Rangnick wants to see. The two things he wants to see are control of the possession and Manchester United being first or second balls. Rashford tonight. We've got to speak about Marcus Rashford, man. I don't know what's wrong with him. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him, but something must be up because Rashford again, Rashford was one of the players this week who tweeted out and said, look, it hurts me to see what people are saying about the, the, the feelings inside the dressing room. We all committed. We love the club. We want to do everything. And then he goes and puts in that sort of performance. And then you see him on the bench after, just like a, a, a disconcerted, like, almost like he, he's about to break down. Like Rashford, absolute shadow of himself. And remember, he, he missed the first few months of the season. We think he's going to come back at 100%. He's going to be full tilt. Jeez, the Premier League better be ready. And then this Rashford's come out. And I think I'm not, I'm not pointing my finger at Rashford here individually. I'm saying Rashford is symptomatic of Manchester United as a team. With that performance there, Rashford sums it all up. Uh, the effort was there in the first 10, 15 minutes. Is what Manchester United like to do sometimes. We start strong, but then uh, the Villa got into the game and we didn't know what to do. We didn't have a midfield. Lo and behold, the midfield control wasn't there. It's almost like our midfield is not good enough to compete for the Premier League. Who could possibly have imagined that this season? Who could possibly have seen that coming, apart from every single United fan? And it's weird, it's weird, right, that I come, I'm coming to this match reaction with so, so many complaints. We've just kept a clean sheet. We scored 1-0, through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. On paper, that's a very professional performance, a very professional win, move on. But in reality, in the context of what's going on, now, this is, this, this is the key thing here. Football is a results-driven business. But winning is not the measure of success for Manchester United this season. Not with Ralph Ragnick, not with an interim manager, not with a manager who came in halfway through the season who has no chance of winning the Premier League. Hell, we've got a chance in the Cups. We've got a chance in the FA Cup and let's hope for a Champions League miracle, right? But the measure of success this season is setting this squad up, setting this team up so that whoever comes in next, hopefully Eric Ten Hag, has what he needs straight away. And that is not what he needs straight. It's, it's like we can't do the simple things properly. And that's got sod all to do with the coach. That's got nothing to do with Ralph Ragnick. Decision making off, not first to the second balls, that's down to laziness. That's down to attitude. That's down to application. I keep reiterating myself and I keep repeating myself, but we saw in the first 30 minutes against Crystal Palace how good we can be, how organized we can be inside this 4 triple two formation, how we can be first to those second balls. It's about Wanting to give a fuck. That's what it is down to. It's all about application. And tonight we did not see that application again. Scott McTominay going down as man of the match from Dion Dublin on BBC. Simply because he got the goal. I would probably give it to Rafael Varane. I really enjoyed watching him tonight. Gave me a bit of... Um, I don't know. Calm me down as a fan watching it because we had him there. Victor Lindelof did his, did his very best to do the complete opposite. That touch with, which let in... Um, who was it? Watkins? Um... I think it was Watkins. Can't remember who it was. Anyway, who hit the bar? Man United were lucky tonight. We've come away from that scratch free, effectively. One nil, clean sheet, through to the fourth round. But the reality is, is that we've got problems. We've got deeper issues which are far, far bigger than simply a formation. Far bigger than simply changing a player in or out of the team. That doesn't change it. Ronaldo was out of the team there tonight. What did it change overall? Not much, if anything. Harry Maguire was out of the team. What did it change? Overall, not much, if anything. We kept a clean sheet, sure. But Villa had chance after chance after chance. United had no control of the game. I'm headbutting, not headbutting. Chin in the mic. United had no control, man. Villa will come away from that feeling very aggrieved and very pumped for the game on Saturday because they'll want to correct the, the feeling that they've got. So if we go into that game on Saturday against Aston Villa with that sort of attitude and approach... We're going to lose that game. Simple as. We can't do that. There was a fortunate game there tonight. And that will make sure that the pressure is not intensifying on Randy. But the pressure should not be intensifying on Randy. Let me wrap up with this. This is all about the players, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about switching formations and switching starting 11s and the subs at the wrong time. And Van Der Beek coming on earlier. Van Der Beek somehow managed to come on a pitch and not play football. It's like we played around him. Poor guy. Jesus. Hardly touched the ball. Haven't mentioned him for 10 minutes. Sorry, Donny. Here's what it is. But United need to buck up their ideas, man. Seriously, this run of games we had, we're like Burnley and Newcastle and Norwich and Aston Villa back-to-back -back in the FA Cup and the league. We're like, oh, yes, please. No, thank you. After watching that, 
shower of shit performance. But the result was there. And I suppose that's all that counts. But it's not, is it? It's not all that counts with Randick. It's not all that counts with everything right now. And the problems that United have, we need to start seeing performances. And that was not it. What's your reaction? You let me know in the comments below, as you always do. I'll be here in the morning at 9.30. And no doubt we're going to assess every single aspect of that. But, geez, as I said, winning when you're not playing well as a hallmark of champions, that is not the hallmark of champions. Even if we did win when we're not playing well.